Living in New York has definitely affected my artwork. New York has a um, has a real energy about this city. Um, there's a there's a great thrill in making artwork where there's uh, another million registered artists living. Um, it has a it has a pace about it, and it's um, just really has a, an exciting feeling to be making artwork in New York City right now. So a lot of these drawings uh, are where I can map out different ideas of, uh, of gesture and, and composition. It's, a, it's a basically a trial and error thing. Um, you're, 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 you're a lot more willing to take, uh, to take a lot many more risks with a drawing and push a drawing sometimes more so than the, uh, than the actual piece. So I think uh, for me a lot of the, the, the major risk taking um, when it comes to my artwork and a lot of the new ideas develop straight out of the drawings. These are uh, some of the more three-dimensional forms, uh, what I call the, uh, the buoys. These, these weights down here, if you see, they're, uh, they're actually lead, lead weights, lead fishing weights, and they're actually all lead casts of my fingers. Um, this is uh, when my grandfather in Cuba, they didn't have uh, modern conveniences of like fishing weights, you know, you just didn't go to the store and, and buy, buy your fishing lures. Uh, so the, all the fishing weights were, were handmade. And when I was a young child, um, my grandfather taught me how to make them. And basically, when you're at the beach, uh, right before you're going you're gonna to fish, you would stick your finger in the sand. Um, and then in that, in that hollow hole where your finger was in the sand, you would then heat up the lead and pour it into the hole. And that would be your, your fishing weight. Teaching is really um, extremely beneficial to, to my artwork. The students are really inspiring to me. Um, I really, I'm very lucky and feel very happy to be teaching just because of the students. But it doesn't, it doesn't fail. I don't see it as a, I don't see it as a failure like that at all. I mean, I see it as a very, as a very much part of you and an in-depth view of, of how you're thinking. And, and especially also discovering sculpture, you know, how do you take your ideas and put them in a three-dimensional sense? It's very hard to do. And the carbon is slowly being burned away. Okay. And the, the environment of a school and a university, it's always, it's always around being around young people, young students, young ideas, new ways of thinking. Um, if I particularly have a lesson that I'm teaching and, and I explain, okay, to get from A to, to C, you have to go through B, and when a student proves me wrong and does it his or her way and goes from A to C without going through B, you know, it's always that challenge and always setting up a problem and seeing how students tackle, tackle my challenges um, is very inspiring for, for my own work. Um, I mean, I come out of, I come out of school really inspired to get into the studio.